I recently got a few questions regarding my mobile multi-tracking setup, which consists of a Presonus RM16 and a Dell XPS 15 9550. If you saw my recent video, I explained why I switched from a MacBook Pro to a XPS 15 9550 for a number of reasons. So check out that video, I explain why. The problem is that the RM16 communicates via a FireWire 800 connection. Now, according to what I've read, and understand the whole PC world is new to me, I am a Mac guy, but according to what I've read, the uh, FireWire protocol was dropped on many of the laptops. If it's not built into the motherboard, it can't be added. It's not like a desktop computer where you can get a FireWire card. But even though your Windows laptop doesn't have a FireWire port, it may have FireWire built into the motherboard, which would be accessible via the Thunderbolt USB-C port. Some have it, some don't. The 9550 does, and if your audio interface communicates via FireWire 800, such as the RM16, here are the adapters you will need to set it up. It's really very simple. FireWire 800 is coming from your RM16. The other end of your FireWire 800 connector is going to go into an Apple Thunderbolt 2 to 1394 adapter. You can get it at B&H for $29. Now you have to use the Apple. I don't know why. There are other brands that are cheaper. For some reason, they just don't work. Then you will connect your Apple adapter to a StarTech Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. That's going to cost you about 70 bucks at B&H. Again, there are cheaper versions. I've tested them. They don't work. All I did for two weeks was buy adapters and return them. Now, this was back in June 2017, and maybe since then there have been some firmware upgrades that address compatibility issues, but to the best of my knowledge, this is the only combination that works. The StarTech then connects to the USB-C port on your laptop, and you'll be ready to go. Now, when I connected the Apple adapter, the computer displayed that the device was not compatible and would not be recognized. Just ignore it. Click it away. It should only happen once. It will work. Now, regarding the Studio Live Series 3 mixer and, of course, the Presonus Studio 192, those are USB, so, of course, no adapters are necessary. It hooked right up, as does the new rack version of the Studio Live Series. Now, you can get a new 9560 maxed out, $22 to $2,500. I don't know. I'm guessing. But the 9550, even though it's discontinued, it's basically the same computer. And for mobile use, it's fine. They're giving these things away. You can get a 16 gigabyte version in perfect condition used from B&H for under $1,300. I strongly recommend buying used from B&H, not just because of the savings, but because if there's a compatibility issue, they have a 15-day return policy. So I saved $2,500 by not buying a MacBook Pro. I saved another $400 by not buying an iPad. I bought a Lenovo tablet. And I saved enough cash to buy a brand new 24-channel mixer. So it was a no-brainer. And the dual-core MacBook Pro is in the bag as a backup. So if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I try to answer questions as quickly as they come in. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you have anything to add, please comment below. It's good for me. It's good for you. It's good for everyone to share information. More videos soon. And as soon as the DAW mode for the Studio Live Series 3 is available, we'll be doing a review on that. Thanks for watching.